When I forget that Jesus died to remake me, this becomes a backdrop for compulsive and addictive behaviors. My quiet time is essential, alone with the Lord, while in His Word, I hear Him speak to my heart. In His Word, I am reminded that He has ransomed my soul and I belong to Him. I get to be refilled with the joy of knowing that as a child of God, I am greatly loved and highly favored. God fills me with His joy and this strengthens me for the tasks of the day. Nehemiah 8.10 is a reminder that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Dear Father, the Bible is your love letter to me. Through it, I hear you speak to my heart. I am cleansed, directed, and equipped through your word. I am transformed because immersing in scripture never fails to renew my mind. Thank you for loving me so much and teaching me how to keep the joy for my salvation burning in my heart. I pray never to miss my appointed time with you. I pray to nurture and grow our love relationship by keeping my quiet time. It must stay my first and highest priority each day. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have to stop fighting ourselves and others. We must stand firm against the real enemy and use God's word to defeat him. Ephesians 6, 12, 13. If you are struggling with emotional and compulsive eating, know that you are not alone. God is there for you and so are we. We are BibleForFood.org. Remember Philippians 2.13, cry out to the Lord in prayer for the willingness to be willing today.